This is the video problem demonstration on determination of tax. This uh, demonstration is going to utilize the second example, and this example is part of Module 2. The information that I'm using is the data for the example, and it's included as a file that's downloadable on our course website. If you look at example 2, we've been provided with some information about a tax situation. We see a total income here of $150,000, a tax-exempt income of $15,000, some IRA contributions, which is a retirement contribution of $2,000. The filing status is single, zero dependents, and they've already made some prepayments throughout the year of $30,000. And with this information, I'm being asked to calculate five things. The gross income, the adjusted gross income, taxable income, tax liability, and finally, either the tax due or possibly a refund. Now, in order to calculate the solution for this example, I'm going to utilize Excel. And I've already set up a spreadsheet in Excel to use for this example. And I've done this simply to save time. And of course, you could use Excel to do the uh, solution for your homework assignment, or you could do this with Microsoft Word, or any format that you'd like. And of course, to submit your assignment, you could do that as an email attachment, or you could use the assignment tool in Blackboard. But what I've done is I've just set up some titles to save a little bit of time. But I've got total income, exclusions, gross income, deductions for AGI, the AGI itself, the deductions from AGI, which include standard deduction and personal exemption, the taxable income, the excess, the tax rate, the additional amount, the tax liability, the prepayments, and finally the tax due slash refund. And having these titles just makes it a little bit easier, keeps us organized, and also by having everything labeled, it'll make it easier at the end to answer all the questions that they asked. Also, to work this problem, I'm going to utilize my 2012 tax tables. And we used these in our previous uh, video problem demonstration for Module 1. This is a PDF file. And this is located under the supplemental section of our course website. And the, the page that we're interested in, just like it was in the last problem, is page 14, the very last page, which has the actual tax rate tables themselves. So to solve this problem, first thing I want is the total income. And that was provided in the problem. It said the total income was $150,000. So I'll just plug that in under total income. Then I need the exclusions. And exclusions are items that are specifically identified by the IRS as being excludable. Well, we do have one. It's this tax-exempt income right here, $15,000 of tax-exempt income. That's excludable. So we'll put that as a negative because we're going to deduct that from our total income. So that leaves us with $135,000. So then I have the deductions for AGI. Now there are a lot of different deductions that fall into this category. And in fact, later on, we will have an entire video lecture in a future module just on all the different items that fall into this category. But for now, we only have one, and that's this item right here, These contributions. This is an IRA contribution. This is a retirement contribution. That's a 4 AGI deduction. So we will take that deduction right now as a negative $2,000. So I will, will deduct that from my gross income and that gives us an AGI of $133,000. Then I have the deductions from AGI and again we will have an entire module on those deductions later on, as well as a video lecture. But for now, we only have two items that are under this category. 
and that would be the standard deduction and the personal exemption. Now remember, the standard deduction depends upon the filing status. So the filing status in this example is single. So if you look in your textbook, you are provided with the uh, standard deductions, and the single filing status standard deduction is 5950 so then we also have personal exemption. Now that amount is also in the book and it's $3,800. We want to figure out how many personal exemptions they're entitled to. Well, they're single, so they're entitled to one exemption for themselves and it looks like they have zero dependents. So that means they're only going to get one $3,800 personal exemption. So as a result, we'll take that AGI We'll deduct the standard deduction and the personal exemption, and that leaves us with $123,250. So now I'm ready to actually use my tax table to calculate the tax liability. And to do that, it is page 14, the final page, and I want to make sure that I use the proper table because this person's filing status happens to be single. So that means I want to use this table right here. It's the very first table, and it says if your filing status is single. And then I want to find the area where that person's taxable income lies. So their taxable income was $123,250. Where does that fall? Well, that falls right here because it's over $85,650 but not over 178650 So it falls into that te territory right there. So if I follow that all the way over, it's going to be the excess over 85650 and it's going to be 28% of that plus $17,442.50. So those are the three numbers there that I need. So it's going to be the excess over 85,650. I'll do that first. And then I'm going to multiply that by the tax rate and it said the bracket that they were in was 28%. So I'll multiply that number by 28%. And then I've got to add on that additional 17,442.50. So we're doing this calculation extremely similar to the way we did that in the previous uh, problem demonstration. So that gives me the tax liability of $27,970.50. The next thing I need are the prepayments. Now the prepayments, that's where they've had money deducted from their pay all year long for taxes. And their prepayments happen to be $30,000. So we get to deduct that. So if we owe a total tax liability of $27,970.50, but we've already made $30,000 worth of prepayments, then that means the answer that we end up with is a negative answer. And since it's a negative answer, that means they're entitled to a refund. So that's the process that we would go through to do these calculations. So now that we've finished all the calculations and we have everything labeled, now we're ready to answer all the questions. So question number one, gross income, well that's right there. Gross income, $135,000. Question two, adjusted gross income, well that's right here. AGI, $133,000. Question three, taxable income. Well, that was all the way down here, $123,250. Question four, tax liability. That was all the way down here, $27,970.50. And then question five, the tax due or refund. Well, that was down here at the end, and it was a refund, $2,029.50.